Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to uh, find out the E, uh, the very important uh, mathematical constant uh, hidden in the Pascal's triangle. And this proof is due to uh, Helen Brothers uh, in uh, 2012. And we recall that the coefficients uh, in the nth row in the Pascal's triangle is given by these uh, n plus 1 terms. Well, first of all, we are going to find the products of the coefficients in the nth row. And we define uh, the function Pn and with the uh, with the following formula. And uh, from k equals n, we take the product of each uh, binomial coefficient, uh, n, c, k. So we try to write out the formula from k equals 0 to n, and then n factorial in the numerator over n minus k factorial, and then times k factorial. And so we are going to write um, write out the terms so that you can have a clear understanding of what is going on. And I try to write the first term, n factorial over n minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial times, and the same goes for k equals 1, and then dot dot times until the term uh, before the last term which is n factorial over uh, 1 factorial times n minus 1 factorial times the uh, last term, for n factorial over 0 factorial times n factorial. So, how to simplify uh, this, uh, this uh, huge product? And we notice that the numerator are all the same. So how many terms we have for the n factorial? We have the n plus 1 term. So we write n factorial to the power of n plus 1 in the front times. And we notice that for the first term, we have a 0 factorial here. And the last term, we also have a 0 factorial here. So we have 2 0 factorial here. And then we can write 1 over 0 factorial square and then times. And for the 1 factorial, we also notice that there are two, uh, two terms. So we write 1 over 1 factorial whole square. And then we notice that for all the terms, we have exactly two terms, like the n factorial here. So we can write until, in the end, n factorial whole square. So now we can write uh, we can use uh, uh, the notation, the product notation. We t um, take the product from k equals zero to k uh, to k equals n for one over k factorial whole square. So now we have a formula for the function p n, and uh, let's try to see the ratio between the p n plus one over the p n. So we replace all the n by n plus 1 uh, in the numerator. And then we can write n plus 1, uh, sorry, n plus 1 factorial to the power of n plus 2. And the product from k equals 0 to n plus 1, 1 over k factorial whole square. And then the whole thing pr uh, over the original n uh, p n n factorial to the power of n plus one and then the product from k equals zero to n and then one over k factorial whole square. So let's try to simplify uh this ratio. And notice that we can um we can uh write the last term of the product in the numerator. So we try to write the copy took uh copy the original uh n plus one factorial to the power of n plus two and then we write out the last term which is a uh, one over n plus one factorial 
whole square, and then times the original product, which is a uh, k equals zero to k equals n, one over k factorial whole square. And then notice that uh, this product is exactly the same as this product, so they can cancel each other in the numerator and denominator. And then what remains in the denominator is the n factorial to the power of n plus one. So let's try to further simplify uh, this uh, ratio. And now we know that uh, there are n plus one factorial to the power of n plus two over the same thing to the power of two. So we can also cancel out uh, the two uh, the power of two. So we have n plus one factorial to the power of n over n factorial to the power of n plus one like this. And then now we try to write out um, the numerator. So uh, we know that n plus one factorial is equal to n plus one times n factorial. So we give give it to the power of n over n factorial to the power of n plus one. And so we distribute the power n to each term. So we ha we have uh, n plus one to the power of n times n factorial to the power of n over n factorial to the power of n plus one. So now we have two terms uh, which is have the same uh, same base n factorial but their power is different which is n over n plus one. So we can further simplify it leaving n plus one to the power of n over n factorial. So now we have the formula for the ratio pn plus one over pn. So uh, we can obtain a similar formula pn over pn minus one by replacing the n uh, with n minus one. So we have uh, the numerator n to the power of n minus one over n minus one factorial. So now let's um, uh, take the product of the two ratio and see what happens. And then we can write the um, n plus one uh, to the power of n over n factorial times n minus one factorial over n to the power of n minus one. So let's try to uh, further simplify it. And we know that we notice that the n factorial can be written as n times n plus one factorial. So we can cancel out the n minus one factorial and then leaving that the numerator as n plus one to the power of n. And then for the numerator, we have n times n to the power of n minus one, which is exactly the n to the power of n. And then what if we um, group the power out? We have n plus one over n to the power of n. And we can write like this one plus one over n to the power of n. So now we do the last step, which is uh, we take the limit that n tends to infinity. And then we add it here. So what is it? And it's exactly the e, uh, the mathematical constant. And now we complete the proof. So uh, I hope you guys like this video and we will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.